This is J.K. Horror Happens from the Horror Happens radio show, and I'm here with Ryan Scott Weber and Weber Pictures and what you need to know about the Pretty Fine Things Kickstarter here. Ryan, thank you for taking the time. Talk why you jumped on to the Kickstarter bandwagon to raise funds for Pretty Fine Things, which is right now available for you to put your funds behind. Well, being an independent filmmaker, we have no money. So the only way to make it work is through crowdfunding, really, unless uh, you find some private investor. So Kickstarter and Indiegogo, they're all great websites to get your word out about your film and what you're trying to do, and you can just bring people in from all over the world to, to donate and be part of your film, so it's great. And with that being said, Pretty Fine Things is going to go outside the realm of Mary Horror Trilogy, Zombies Incorporated, a lot of the Weber picture projects that really the fans have been uh, a part of for the last three, four, or five years, yeah. which is a lifetime to some filmmakers, but a great time for your fans. Yeah. For you, with this project, Pretty Fine Things, talk about the elements that are going to make this the next level picture for Weber. Well, you pictures. know, I think like... We got the Mary Hart trilogy, and we have those group of characters, and they've lasted so long, and people have really, you know, adored them and loved them, and especially Sheriff Tom. And so I want to, I'm starting, I think this as, a, you know, turning the page for a new set of characters and a new place that people can go to, to watch something great in, in, in the heart. And uh, I'm, I'm really excited about it. I think it's going to be a uh, fantastic film, and it's going to be characters that people will love and hate. And, um, you know, it's just it, the Mary Hart trilogy was fantastic at the time, and we just want to bring it to the next level. So. I was going to say that next level includes memorable characters, but it also includes uh, storytelling, narrative. Talk a little bit about the writing process that differs from your other projects with Weber Pictures. Well, actually, this movie has taken me a couple of years to write. Uh, I've been writing for a while, on and off, and uh, we, like, Mary Hart took took about six months to write, maybe, and then the other ones were only a few months of the other tr the sequels. So this I spent a lot of time on, a lot of detail, and I'm still actually working on it, but it's not completely done, but it will be soon. And um, we uh, just, I, I think, you just production value-wise, too, we gotta bring it to the next level, and... Uh, Equipment also. Yeah, well, yeah. Um, acting, well, acting, Equipment, better, you know, better, uh, more expensive equipment because <laughs> everything costs a lot of money yeah. to make a film, especially the camera. Um, but we're really excited about it, and I think it's going to be if all the elements come together, we're going to make a great film. So. And with that, you can go on Kickstarter right now. Pretty fine things. Just put it in the search engine. There's lots of different social media outlets for it. But for those fans out there who want their uh, their to be tempted to give you their money, you know, and especially in the economy we do right now. Mm -hmm. Talk a little bit about the perks that go into this and what they can get as a part of it to be with Pretty Fine Things. Well, I think the perks um, are equal to what you're um, pledging. And uh, because, you know, I want, it, I want it to be equal because it's, fair, it's not fair for the fans to just donate money. Because I've actually donated to Kickstarter before, I won't say which one, but I never got my reward at all. Never received it. Reliable. Never heard back. Um, so I'm, I'm a reliable person. We finish our projects. We get uh, things out there, and um, you will get your rewards as long as we get our our funding. And it's a two way street. It's you know everyone has to come together and make this happen as a as a team. So uh, I think you know we're on. We have all great interviews uh, with you, obviously. Thank but you. I also. I did uh, some talking with uh, HorrorSociety.com and The Sexy Armpit, uh, which is a blog, and um, the TheHorrorScene.com. So like the word is out there, and we just gotta That's spread great. the word even more. So tell your friends, get the word out. If you liked one of my films or my projects, or see me at a con, or even if they like you. Well, <clears> you know, <throat> some people do, some people don't. But you tell <laughs> your friends, your family, your enemies, your frenemies, everyone <clears throat> that you know to be a part of this. And the Kickstarter um, for Pretty Fine Things is going on right now. You can support it. And <clears throat> as we close out here with this conversation for Pretty Fine Things, talk a little bit about the cast that's going to be a part of this. Because between your writing, the equipment upgrades, the perks, you know, all these funds are going to go into Pretty Fine Things to bring in talent. Talk about that talent. Well, we, we want fresh faces. We want new people, we want new talent, 
I want some, I want people that haven't been in my other projects, but we also do have a few people that have been in my other projects, and I want to showcase their talents. Uh, with Joe Pariscan, Edward X. Young, and Patrick Devaney. They are all three great actors um, in the scene, and I, I want to get them all together in one movie and have a, some, a wild time, and also John Link will play the father. Um, who is is slowly dying, but uh, in the film, wow. and I think it's going to be a challenge for him. Uh, he's at, I think he's at the top of his game right now. But um, I think he's, I'm not sure how old he is, but uh, <laughs> he's, uh, he is. I mean, he's very. He's eclectic. been around forever, and he's, he's, yeah, he's great, and he, you get like this vibe from him that I just I wrote this character kind of based off of his vibe. So um, yeah, we're going to hopefully get some nice. Uh, celebrity type names in the film and uh, get some of them involved and depending on the funding and everything. But um, And the funding has to come from you folks. Yes, kickstarter.com. Thank God there's a platform for this because there hasn't, there never used to be. I don't know how some filmmakers used to do it. But we're lucky to have this technology. Let's take advantage of it. You can be part of my film. You can be an executive producer. You can be in the film. Uh, you can get a DVD and even low as getting a signed poster. I think it's five bucks or something. That's so great. any amount ha helps. Honestly, if every person on my friends the list on Facebook donated six dollars, we would be over our goal. So even if you think, oh, I can only give five dollars, put the five bucks in. That's it something. Will help. Every little bit. And we don't get the money unless we reach our goal. So um, it's all or nothing. Let's make it happen. Uh, I want to make this movie. The best it possibly can. So that's the only way it's going to happen is if we get this funding. Pretty fine things on Kickstarter.com. Support it right now. It's got a handful of days left. And Ryan Scott Weber, the best of luck with it. Thanks, and Jay. Thanks for doing this. Appreciate it. And um, what else is the fans need? Where can they find you on social media? Okay, facebookcom slash Ryan Scott Weber. We got a Twitter at Ryan Scott Weber at Weber Pictures. Uh, also, Pretty Fine Things um, is facebook.com slash Pretty Fine Things, the movie. I also have WeberPicturesCompany.com. Um, I mean, I'm all over the place. <laughs> yeah, nice. uh, I don't. I have an Instagram, but I, I sometimes promote on that. It's more like my own stuff. But uh, It's okay. It's Ryan Scott views. Weber. Ryan Scott so, Weber. Just all you got to remember. It's easy. And then you got the Horror Happens Radio Show, and we'll be on that. I've been many interviews with you. You can mm -hmm. listen to the past ones. Uh, how passionate I am about making these movies. So. A very passionate man, a passionate filmmaker, homegrown here in New Jersey. It is the charming, the cute, de do 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 Ryan Scott. Me. Well, you know what? That's for another film and another time. Ryan Scott Weber, thank you so much. JK from the Horror Happens Radio Show. Support on Kickstarter, pretty fine things.